What's up everyone, it's Kevin. Today it's episode 25 of Print and Paint. I'm on my mini factory. I'm doing the Zedial Fallen Angel. That's a model from Arch Villain Games. It's a really detailed model, really complex, with a lot of tricky parts like chains going around. So I'm gonna do my best on the support and the paint job. Let's go. Okay, so here I'm just gonna show you when everything is supported. As you can see, there was a lot of details. Uh, so I took my time. I might have crashed once as well, so I done my best here. The mace was a bit tricky. Everything else, like the wings and the base, that was fine, so not a big deal here. Okay, so all the prints are finished. For this one, I choose to do half the layer height I do usually. Instead of the 0.05, I went with the 0.025. And this done a really great job. The details are really crisp, sharp. Everything is really nice. I think for this one, the mini, I went with the 150 scales. You can probably go a bit higher. As you can see, like the chains here, they're really nice, really nice details, but they're so fragile. I'm a bit scared to paint the whole thing. I might broke a couple of parts. I'm really, I will do my best. Here, I still have my two wings. Everything is really, really cool. Yeah, there is so much details, there is a lot to play with. I will do my best on this one. I've got some ideas for the colors already. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I've done my priming. Then I start with my color, my base coat. Here for the skin, I'm going for like a darker tone, like a brownish tone. I want to keep the whole team of the mini the same. So that was my idea and my goal. It's like, okay, this skin tone, I'm just going to mix everything with it. It's going to be like the base color for the whole miniature, kind of. Here I'm doing the cloth here around the, the skirt or something, and the top with some laser color. The part here of the belt and a lot of the armor are going to be gold. And some of the accents, like chains and the chain mail, kind of, here around the hips, it's going to be copper. And the top of the armor, uh, am hammer is like um, a tin color. And what I'm doing for the wings, I'm using the same skin tone as the, as the miniature. So they're part of the body, so I'm going to use a bit of a similar tint. And some black wash on top here. I just try to get some recess, get some small detail. I'm not going to rely too much on the wash. Here on the, the skin, I'm just trying to brighten everything slowly. I'm gonna glaze a lot for the skin. Trying to get some nice transition. I had a lot of volume to define as well. Like the arm is just like a skinny piece. So I try to define some small muscles. The shoulder, the biceps. Here the brighter color are a bit yellowish, brownish as well. Try to keep the theme. I don't want to just go like pure white or something. And it's gonna complement the gold as well. Some small tiny highlights. Later on at the end I I was like okay, everything is a bit too bright and like there is no enough definition, so I went back with some darker color, a bit reddish to keep the skin alive, and I redefined some shadows. And now I start on the gold. So here, what I'm doing, I have like a dark, dark copperish, reddish color, and I'm just darkening the the gold with this one. Same on the cloth here some brownish color. I have to fix the wash a little bit. So the wash was great to help me find some, some volume and stuff, but here I really have to clean it up, take the dirty look off of the, the cloth. So I'm using some bonish brownish color with some tint of yellow sometimes for the highlight. And I took my time and I redefined the whole class, the whole volume. I 
same idea for the top here. As you can see, for example, there was some wash pulling a little bit. So I just have to clean that up, then redefine the, my highlight. And like I said, a lot of those colors, they are a mix of each other. Like I always try to pick color from another part. And that's the way I keep the, the color scheme kind of going together. And right now I'm brightening my gold. So I took the brightest gold that I had and I just went over with some highlight here. And the contrast with, between the, the darkened like brown color that I've put under the, the gold and the brighter one is really nice. I've tried the similar effect on the copper here. Really trying to give the metallic gold some volume. I've tried to do something on the hammer as well. Uh, there was some line here to, to follow an edge highlight. And I used some silver, but I don't know, I di didn't really click for me. So I've done my best, but then I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave it as it is kind of really simple. And here on top of the head, there is this crown with some flame coming out. So I'm just trying to do a flame effect. I've never really done it before, but it's not that hard. I mean, you can sell the effect with some really easy color and blending. So I've done my best. And then I've worked a little bit on the base here. Nothing crazy. So here for the, um, the wings, like I said, I try to keep the tone color of the skin. And right there, I'm just trying to define some shadows and some color that I want. I'm going a bit ham. I know I'm going to refine everything slowly after. Like here, I've changed the color with the dry brushing and I'm redefining uh, the line in between later on. Same for those part of the wing here, I'm adding some highlight. And for the inside of the wings here, like the, the flappy skin, I would say, I just went with some wet blending and I've tried to, to mash everything together. So it was a lot of back and forth and mix of color and try to do a, a nice transition and add some color and some, some light. Same thing on the other wing, the second one, a bit more tiny, obviously. So here I'm still wet blending some brighter color in the same skin tone that I used. Here I'm a bit rougher on the, the blending, but that's okay. Just come back later on and try to refine a little bit. And I had to wait until it was dry now and I'm dry brushing from the bottom. So I tried to bring some light, lighter color from the bottom and they're a bit yellowish as well. So I'm just dry brushing from the bottom up. And when I was done, after a lot of details on the wings, I've glued them on the back and here I'm just blending the seam a little bit. So I'm using some PVA and glue and later on I'm gonna just clean it up. Okay, so I'm finally finished with the idea of the Fallen Angel. This one took me quite a lot of time. You can always spend 10, 20 more hours if you want, but I had to cut it down. I spent a lot of time trying to glaze, mix my color, and I done a great job. I'm really happy with this one. It's kind of my best paint job in a way because I was kind of confident and learning a lot in the process, so that's great. I'm really happy with the results. There was some downside like with this model. The, the chains are really tiny the wings as well so sometimes I broke chains and had to re-glue and repaint some stuff but other than that that's great as you can see the model is tilting backward like all the weight is on the back of the, the base so I'm just gonna reprint a bigger one like just simple and flat and glue this one on top just to make sure everything is stable I know it was gonna happen but I was like okay let's wait until the end and see exactly what I need so that's the great stuff I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the paint job, tell me if you think that's great in the comment. Leave me a like and if you want to see more stay tuned and see you next week.